Symbols or shapes can be used to great effect in Illustrator. Now, the symbols I've created on graphic extras are vector designs, and I'm just going to quickly show you how to install and basic use of Illustrator symbols in CS6. So I'm just going to go over to CS6 now, and I've actually got the symbol palette already displayed. And to actually display it, if you can't see it, is via the <coughs> window and then symbols. See it there. And you will see there's a default set of symbols, the quite interesting ones with uh, sort of web design, credit card, shopping cart, and those sort of things. Also, you can see on there, you can see on the right side menu, open symbol library, and you will see a whole range of different uh, symbol sets that come with Illustrator. Now, if you actually want to go and select another one, it's the other library option. I'm just going to go down to there. It's just at the bottom of the list. So other library. And now I've got it on the desktop. So I'm just going to go over to there. And this set is the symbol set. Uh, it's a sampler set on the Graphic Extras website. You can find it on the first uh, main Illustrator Shapes page. So I'm just going to click open at this point. And there you are. You will see actually a symbol library. Now, the symbols can't be edited at this point in this library. You have to actually add them to the document symbols library. So I'm just going to quickly select one or two. So I'm just going to select that one. Just You can just click them or you can just obviously use them. And I'm just going to select a few of them there. Right. So now I've created them. I should put them over there. I can actually edit the symbols if I wish. Actually, also, I can now apply them in the document. So I'm just going to just basic first thing you can do, just drag them across, use them with the document. They're vector designs, so they can be any size. So just that sort of size. You can just resize it if you wish. Of course, you can convert them into standard paths if you wish as well. So you can just go to Object and Expand. Or you can use the Break Link. That's another option, Break Link to Symbol. So... Uh, if that's what you want to do. Right, at this point, of course, you can also replace symbols. So you can use this, say, this basic symbol all the way through the document. So uh, I'm going to create a few. So I'm just going to just create a couple of instances. So just do that. And now I can say replace. So I'm just going to select that one. Now, only replaces that one. Of course, if I'm just going to go back now. Undo replace. And I'm just going to select those, all three, and now I can do the replace. And obviously, I can now say, and it will actually default to the size. So it's obviously that was a larger design. So those were smaller designs that actually fit to the same size as before. Obviously, depending on the actual symbol itself. Right. So that's a basic uh, use of symbols. Now, if you want to actually apply them more like a brush, you can actually do that by going over to the Symbol Sprayer tool, and that can be found in the toolbox. And there's a selection of tools that come with it. Symbol Sprayer is the sort of main one. So I'm just going to quickly apply the current selected symbol. I'm just going to select that one. And you can just apply it as a brush stroke. Just across, fills the document. And then you can modify the actual symbols just simply by changing the scruncher, sizer, spinner. So it just turns it, stains with the color and all those sort of things. So it's basic quick use of vector designs there, so they're uh, vector shapes. Of course, at the same time, you can actually export them just by using the uh, just standard copy command, and you can cop copy them into Photoshop or another application. Or, of course, you can just use the uh, file export command and just save them as PNG file or TIFF, etc.